this day. Because everyone that your way has set up to use, everyone that your way have decided to use is one that you have become for in great magnitude and in a very great way. Everyone that Jesus has called will stand and say to the work in him. That in the days to come, I will not bow to Satan, I will not bow to the devil, I will not bow to the wiles of the enemy, I will not bow to the speakings of Lucifer, I will not bow to the utterances that proceeds from the mouth of the devil. You will be my Lord and you will be my King. I will serve you. I will bow to the devil. Adonai! You will be my master. Abatella. 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 The very God that called down to is the same God that we call to. The very one that picked up from the earth as his king is the only one that we proclaim as the king. God will come sign. The market needs to come. The market needs to come to my Barami na poro se frete li kabu kambe Merete le frete le ruta diska brete fintabi Se le mambo kala si la ilaba For in Jesus, name we pray We can sit Begana is used yesterday called Spirit City there are many knowledge around spiritual matters that are not found in public places. Many knowledge around spiritual things that are not found easily. So many there be, they call themselves Christians, yet they are not aware, they are not, they are not in the know of what the spiritual realm is. If we want to do business with that realm, one of the things that is advantageous to you is your knowledge of what that realm holds. We don't understand that realm. We are not familiar with that realm. We don't know things. Uh, you know, sometimes when you see people begin to misbehave, you need to find out what is sponsoring that misbehavior. The Bible calls a spirit, it calls it the spirit that is in the air that walk to the children of disobedience. Maybe let's begin from there. I, I, I would like to begin from there. I picked it in my prayer. Mama Sika. Kora Mesela Mama 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 Should be in the book of Corinthians. Give me 30 seconds. I'll find it. Oosh. Okay. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 2. Okay, but let's begin from verses 1. And you at the quicken who were in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the power, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit. That now work it in the children of disobedience. This was Paul saying to us that certain persons are living in disobedience not because they will to. There's a spirit in the atmosphere that conjures men to live like that. Like I was trying to explain yesterday, there's no how you can explain that a person leaves his house as a modest girl and then he, she gain admission to that institution and suddenly something things she would never and normally not do, she began to do it because now she's on a campus. Why you will be quick to say, you will be quick to call it peer pressure. No. Don't be quick to call it peer pressure. When a man looks on the realm of the spirit, what he sees is not peer pressure. He sees a principality, a prince that rules over that terrain. A prince that regulates how people think, how people behave. I know friends that almost swore that they will never smoke Igbo in their life. Igbo. They, they, I know somebody. I, I, I knew a friend from campus days from campus days. He was my classmate. He said that he can do yahoo, but he cannot, that we never smoke a boom. 
All he needed to do was to pack to a, a certain compound. And when he <laughs> when he started living in that compound, he became a a, a, a and I don't he go lord. He smokes all kind of Igbo. You know, the Igbo is the is the general name for everything, but they are different breeds. You know, the way, the way dog is the general name for canine, but they are different breeds. There's Rottweiler, there's German Shepherd, there's Caucasian, there's Lassa, there's Eskimo, there's Pog, there's Frenchie, there's Bulldog, there's French Bulldog. You know, okay, French Bulldog is Frenchie. They are, they are like, they are about... <laughs> Maybe a thousand breeds of dog. There's Podu, there's so many. There's Chihuahua. But it's like Igbo too. Igbo, <laughs> Igbo is the name. But guess what? But there are different breeds. There's Kolo, there's Ganja, there's. There's one there's Toko. Ah, I've forgotten this. There's, no, 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 no. It's not Ice. Ice is not Igbo. Ice is not Igbo. Ice, ice is the one they call Kurumi. <laughs> uh, oh, why am I forgetting this? Very tough. It's not my forte. There are different breeds. The, the guy, the guy smokes all kinds. Oh, and this guy was one that told us that he all he needed to do was to pack to a compound, and he began. To, you will call it peer pressure. Don't be too quick. There's a power that regulates that terrain, that configures men to live in that way. That conscripts men to live in a kind of way. And it's normal. How can you explain that somebody just, so a modest lady, gain admission to higher institution, and then she become a whore? Someone that was modest for mom. It's not her. All her consecrations and all her disciplines, let's put it that way, were torn apart suddenly. And now it looks as if. Ah, eh, when, she, when she was traveling for mom, to this place where she was traveling from was more was more was more calm but now she's in a terrain that is ruled by a principality the bible call it the the prince of the power in the air and the work is that he works in the children of disobedience so when you see people living in disobedience sometimes it is because there is a spirit that is at work i began like this so as to Further help us understand the teachings around spirit cities. Spirit cities. Spirit civilizations. Let's put it that way. Spirit civilizations. That's the best way to put it. I see people misbehave very well. Before you come and say, God, you know the word. No, no, no. You know, all you need to do is to first check. What spirit is he under? What's, what spirit is the what influence is regulating him? You get to, when you get to a territory, you find out that this is the most dominant operation, the most dominant behavior. is clear. I can't hear you, please. This is the most dominant behavioral pattern in this terrain. It's a sign that it's suggestive. Let me use those suggestive, except that you're not this. And it's suggestive of the fact that there's a spirit in that terrain that makes men behave like this. The spirit in that terrain that makes men move in this direction. Many, many people, their actions and their inactions are not regulated from their mind. They are product of, product of spirit whispers. So many, many territories that we go to, many territories that we... Sometimes when we enter a territory, one of the things we can sense in the territory is the spirit of lust. As you enter it, your spirit picks it. It's normal that everybody in that territory will live in lust, even believers. There are territories when you get to, you, 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 you feel, you just feel mammon in the atmosphere. Even the ones that, when they were in that city, they swore to God that they would never be controlled by mammon. When they enter that territory and begin to do ministry, they bow to mammon. I was in Calabar. And I was interacting with them and they told me this territory is out. I said, what do they mean? They said, the resistance is this territory is stronger, is stronger than every territory in the region. They said, Calabar is strong. They said, anybody that can do ministry and succeed in Calabar can do ministry anyway. I said, Ta, you people are glorifying you glorify your territory. Said no, they said even when Apostle Ram come, Apostle said it too. The Apostle said, if you can succeed in Calabar in ministry, you can succeed anywhere in the world. They said they have seen people that they tried to do ministry in Calabar and they, they, they were average. The moment they left Calabar to go to Uyo, they blew. They from Calabar, they, when they left, they went to Port Harcourt, they exploded. They said, they said that they've seen many men, many men escape. 
escape from ministry in Calabar so that they can that this it is to say that there's a principality, there's a power in that region. Eh? There's a principality in that region, there's a power that, that holds ministerial sources down. I know of a man. I know the man's story. It was but it was this time when I went to Calabar, I had the full story. I know of the man. The man is is so deep in lust, deep, that he says to you that he says to ladies that there's a grace he has for him to transfer that grace. The grace that this one. He moves through his palm. <laughs> I do want to laugh, see, Sally speak. He said, This one, he moves, that he has to deposit himself inside you for you to. Cabo, say, Cabo. So I thought that. I thought it was. I thought he didn't start right. But I thought he didn't start right. So when I went to Calabar, then they were, say, they were, they were giving me a story about many men that failed in the city. And they mentioned them. I said, Hey, that one. Did I want to start right? They say he started right too. And they told me the story. They say when the guy was in the University of Calabar as a student, he was a burning flame. He rattled the campus, scatter campus. It was a problem to the devil on campus. The moment he left campus and he started doing ministry, he said small by small, small by small, small by small, small by small. Then I said that the one you hear is half gist. That is he's not interested in ladies again, no. That he does guy and join. So now he's bisexual. I say, I say, Calabana, wow. <laughs> they say he's not bisexual. No, no. Who have heard that message that Apostle spoke about Ethicon Road? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so I said, they, they, I said, I want to go to Ethicon Road. I was in an Uber ride. The Uber driver said, Now money with it. So you did free to go. I say, Pastor, if you go for night, even you, your body go day. I said, <laughs> that was what he said. He said, Pastor, even you, your body go day. Say, you see different kinds, different breed. There's no kind you look for. See, say he can beat his chest that my spec is there. Say, la, I say, see, he said, if your spec is short, get you. See, if your spec is tall, anyone, if your spec is fair, you will be black. Anything, if it's horrible, you, anything. If it's even get that steric, he said, you, he said, your everybody's spec is, in, is on ethical road in the night. Say, and they walk from night to morning. Say, just because of certain things that that's why you can't see them during the day. But when you come here from evening, ah, say, Pastor, you say, now morning, now I thank God. Say, even at night, even you. you are, uh, so, in the night, we went to Ethical Road, but we didn't, there's a, there's a, we didn't go there. We didn't get there. She said, we didn't get there. We went to buy food. Me and a few brethren, we took an Uber ride, went to buy food. And it was about 12. To 11, after 11, 12. Because I, I told them, ah, let's go and buy food. We, we just gisted, shared scriptures until late night. I said, ah, you guys cannot go back again. They came to me. I said, you guys can. They said, ah, it's okay, you will pass the night. I, they said that. I said, you stay, stay, stay in the hotel with me. I said, have people eating? They said, they have no eat. I said, ah, so, time I've gone, oh, what will people eat now? They said, ah, this is Calabar. There's a place where they walk two for seven there. I said, I said, where? They said, Ethicon. I said, oh. I said, chill, chill. They said, no, no, no. There is a place that is selling on Ethicon Road. So when we got there, they were still selling food. And they said they would sell food in money. They told me that if our Uber does branch like this, even if you speak in tongues, you will come back. Even if, I, if, you, even if you are on that, that road with tongues, Sabakoro, no, no. With tongues, you will still come back with lost. That even if you enter that road with tongues, saka, baka, 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 and I lie, you, you, by the time you are returning, you will feel like going back to a vest lady. I say, it, it, that's, the, that's the place I spoke about. That he said, if you are on Ethicon Road, he said, may you never be found on Ethicon Road in Calabar. <laughs> ah. And I said, that's the apostle said, is it true? He said, they say it's true. Because the apostle said, he, when he came, I said, he said, he saw the ladies naked from up. He, I said, they said, ah. He said, they said, pastor, no comedic on road. Just leave that thing, leave that thing, leave that thing, leave that thing. Hey. They, they told me, they said, you, you, you can be average in Calabar, but if you leave Calabar, you're a mighty man. That if you are mighty man in any territory, if you come to Calabar, you almost be reduced to a babe. 
They say Lagos is not hard. I say, eh? They say, calm down. They told me, chill, calm down. Lagos is not hard. Calabar is hard. And they began to list men that escaped from Calabar. When they were in Calabar, they were struggling in ministry. The moment they left Calabar, they became strong. They, see, eh? What made me testify that there's a principality and there are powers in that region is when I went to minister there also. If I went there, I was, I was sick. Three days to the meeting. Three days to the meeting. So when I got there, I told them I was sick, blah, blah, blah. I was on medication and they asked me that since when? I said three days ago. They looked at, they looked at themselves and they laughed. I said, why? I said, Ogbe came here last. It was last year, last year. Ogbe was sick four days to his, for this meeting. I said, wow. I said, even when Ogbe came, sound did not work. The Ogbe verse, Ogbe said, hey, I know, I know. Okay, I understand. They said, I said, but me, sound works, sir. Me, 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 I came. So I, I partook of, they said, when Pastor Lawrence saw your came. Say, Pastor Lawrence saw your two could not land in Calabar. He landed in New York. He had to use water. That his own flight too was maneuvered, maneuvered. I said, same thing with me. They said, yes. Flight was maneuvered, maneuvered, maneuvered. So he had to land in Uyo. From Uyo, Una, in, it, from Uyo Airport, you took a cab to Oron. Oron. I mean, never familiar with all this place. And nobody here. Yeah. Who is from South South, all these river area there? Yeah. Where, where are you from? Aquaibo. Uyo now. Nah. Hey, you, you know Oron? Oron, I'll be Oron. I don't, I don't, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. When I, when I ask my friend that does he know, he say, oh, eh? he say, oh, wicked place. I said to so we land so from U airport got to Oron. From Oron we took boat to I think I've shared the story about this my sacrifice that God asked me to pay. That was why the territory opened to me. But yet there was serious resistance. Yes. So they said that they they've seen that you might not be able to you might not be able to move in power in Calabar. When you step out of Calabar, you are like a prince of power. They say uh, the territory is strong, is strong, is strong. They say there's a there's a, a water principality called Ekpanyo. I say no, I say no, I know a man of God. They say maybe he's a different man of God. They say there's a principality called Ekpanyo. And I think I think if I can recall, maybe it's a crocodile or something. They say, if they say it was a father in the territory that chased that crocodile away. That is by serious warfare intercession. They say they can count a handful, a handful of men. Like, they, if they count great men that rose from Calabar, they are not up to five. In ministry, since Calabar, they have known Calabar to today. They say the greatest that rose is gone. He's still alive. They say the greatest that rose, even, they say, they say when Bishop was still a young man, Bishop traveled to Calabar to almost submit to that man. That was a great day. And they say that man is still alive to today. But he's wallowing in, he's wallowing in, in death. Still alive, but mean his, his voice cannot be heard anyway. When they told me they, they said, Do you know? I say, Who is that one? I say, Ah, he was a father, a great father in the body of Christ. He was, he was reckoned with the likes of Archbishop and the likes of Mark by then. That, that was, they say, But that, I, he's still alive today. But we never, we, we don't know. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know his face. I say, what? He said, the territory catch him. That the territory, they catch people. The territory catch him. He hold him like this. If you go to his, they say, if you go to his church, his church is big. He built it those days. But it's gone. They say, the thing we owe him, we will be begging 13 years old girls that want to sleep with them. That, ma- that kind of big man, 13 years old children. I, I, I said, okay, okay, okay. I, I agree now. I agree. Calabar. <laughs> I, 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 I said, wow. What a terror. Well, Lagos too is hard. Let's not lie to ourselves. To survive in Lagos is hard work. I know elders that began right. But now, the, 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 I used to say, Lagos used to educate. Lagos teaches. He educates men to do me. He teaches men how to do ministry and they subscribe to it. Eh? 
Let's leave that. I was telling a sister. I said to her, I said, there is, there's a ministry I love so much. And I reckon with what, what they used to do. I said, but now, even their opening prayer is like our, is like, oh, our church opening prayer. Can we thank God, Lord Jesus? We thank God, we thank... Ah. I said, this ministry, that when they are doing opening prayer, if you want to... Ah, if, you, if you are dry from home, just stumble. Enter the opening prayer, you find ventilation. I said, there's almost no point where you can find God through the service. From opening prayer to crime. Crime administration is as dry. It's as dry as student departments in our church. You know, those, you know our student departments used to be in church. The best thing they have is skill. Nothing. No God. No God. But they are excellent. That's what Lagos teaches us. Excellence. And it makes a man dedicate his life to excellence till he loses the vent of the spirit. He loses this, the, the aura. The aura. The flame of the spirit. Just excellence, just excellence, just excellence, 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 excellence. Light, fine, fine light everywhere. At least, talk. God will help us. We, we, we try, shall we? Go, ah! We will try, we will try. But like I say, we will not in a bill to be excellent lose the flame of the spirit. Never. You've not been in league. If you do ministry in Lagos, one of the things you will battle with is mammon. I tell you that, mammon. You have to battle with mammon and you have to know when to draw the line, how to draw the line because the terrain is, is dirty when it comes to money. That's not my emphasis for today. I was just trying to explain Ephesians chapter 2, verses 2, where Paul spoke about this, the prince of the power that works in the air. And that we said it is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience. So somebody can be seen until he gets into a territory. When he gets into a territory, he, he, he loses his decorum. He loses his sanity. And then all his discipline are lost. He has to struggle to keep his discipline. People don't believe these things. They, don't, they actually don't believe these things. I have someone that really don't believe it. When he traveled out of the country and he went to another country to do ministry, then he told me, he said, this territory is hard. He said, there's a power in the air. I said, oh, you agree now that, that, that they, you get to a territory and indeed there's a power in the air. There are places you get to, you can't do night prayer. I lie not. If, if you've traveled where there are places you get to, you know, if you be a master of night prayer, be a master. When you get to that territory to do night prayer, it's hard. Ah. Don't start your prayer in the midnight then. Guess what? Start your prayer before midnight. That's how to win. You will struggle for a while, though, but after consecutive trial, you will win. The secret is that you, 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 are, you, are, you are ready at war, you are ready at it before them, they build their guard. Yeah. They begin their ceremony maybe by 12 midnight, but you, you are already active by 11, 10. 10, 11, you are active already. You, you can pray from 10 to 2, that's just four hours. There are terrains, I mean, there are terrains, you can't, I know it, there are places you get to, you can't pray in the night. There are places you get to, you can't even pray at all, you can't pray at all. There are places you get to, you can't pray at all. For every time you pray, it looks as if your prayer eats a wall in the spirit and it bounces back. As you pray, it looks as if your prayer is bouncing back. Every time you try to pray, it looks as if your spirit is dry. Don't just pray. Add fasting. Add serious fasting. There are places we, we get to and we know that there, there's a spirit here. There's a, there's a power in this atmosphere resisting certain things. You know, there, you can't just pray. You, can, you can't just pray. You can't pray. You try. You try. You can't pray. You just try. Ah. That, one is, that one is the closest representative of Egypt. Witchcraft. Spirits left civilization called Egypt. Witchcraft. Maybe I'll double into Egypt and then We'll pray and then tomorrow we'll continue again. Witchcraft. I've been to places where you can't exercise your spirit in glory. You will struggle. And then you've wondered that while I was away, I was better. No. It's not about you. There's something in the air. 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 You're not, you are not, you are not the one making it up. Paul said, there's a prince of power in the air. That works in the children of disobedience. It's Paul that said it. 
there's a prince of power. He, he walks in the air. He, and he, the way it works is that it is in the air, but his dominance is found in the children of disobedience. When you find people behave in a very kind of not so suitable way, not so palatable way, don't be too quick to judge them. No, there's a, there's, there's a power. Especially if the behavior is, is a communal behavior. I was in Oye Kitty and they told me, they said, it's not just cold in the natural air, it's cold in the spirit in Oye. They said, for you to thrive, you must create more fire. The, that, and that place is cold physically. They said, no. I was saying, oh, two, two people are cold. They said, no, no, no. It's, it's not cold alone physically, that's spiritually. In the realm, it's cold. They said, if you travel out of Oye to Ado, you'll be on fire. If you travel in back, you will struggle to be. I said, ah, ah. Uh, the fact is that certain territories are, are like this. Uh, uh, men in partnership with darkness, with the devil, have casted a canopy over the territory. Men in partnership with darkness have thrown, they've thrown a wind, they've thrown, they've thrown a cloud over the territory. And for everyone to thrive in that territory, he has to come with a stronger kind of hand. I will show you, I will show you in the book of Exodus chapter 3. We will do Exodus chapter 1 a little, and then go to Exodus chapter 3. You will see how you can break the bound of Egypt. To break the bound of Egypt, you, 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 you don't come by saying, I want to go. No. Even God told Moses, God told Moses that you can't, Egypt will not allow you to go except by a strong hand. You have to approach your, your, your freedom from the captivity, from the bounds of Egypt by a strong hand. Let's do Exodus chapter 1. Then we begin to see the criteria of what Egypt looked like title of the teaching is Spirit City, Egypt. Yesterday was Spirit City, Babylon. Exodus chapter 1 from verses, um, I think from verses 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. Exodus 1, 7. We are fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed strong, exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we are. Come. Let us deal wisely with them. Lest they multiply and it come to pass that when therefore let out any war, they join also unto our enemy and fight against us. So get them up out of the land. Therefore they set over them taskmasters. Now we will begin to talk about the oppression of Egypt now. This, this from verses 11, you begin to see the oppressions of Egypt. They did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with burdens. And they built for Pharaoh, for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pitom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. And they grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with harshness, rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and brick and in all manner of their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. As though this is not enough. Now, when you, when Egypt is the one in, in rule, the closest to explain the spirit civilization in Egypt is witchcraft. When Egypt is the one in rule, guess what? Uh, human manipulation comes into the picture. Bondage comes into the picture. Suffering men comes into the picture. Are you with me? Stay with me. Human manipulation comes into the picture. Suffering men comes into the picture. Bondage comes into the picture. There, there are many of you with great destinies. That what will bring you down is not lost. What you bring with that is witchcraft. That's every man that God, is, God, God has sent must be very careful. 
I know you don't believe in witchcraft. I will tell you men that I know that fell by the hand of witches. See, believe me, believe me, believe me. A man that God sends must be more careful. You, there's something they call in the oil industry and in some factory they call it, um, ah, is it quality control? It's not quality control I'm looking for. Safety measures or something. See, if we like, we're working in gas company, the kind of carefulness you need to, do, to be in service for God is, more, is much more than the one you need when you are working in the oil company, oil and gas. You know, oil and gas is very, very risky and highly flammable. You have to be very careful. There are many safety routines. And the carefulness you need when you work with God, eh? and when you are now a face of the move of God, a face of a message of God, the carefulness you need is more than the one that a person that works in oil and gas needs. I know you can eat anyway, but there are times when you shouldn't eat anyway. This, this sounds funny. This sounds, this sounds unlike me. This sounds unlike me. But this is truth. This is fact. There are places you get on God to tells you, don't eat here. Even if you are not fasting, you enter fasting. There are places you get to that you have to be high in the spirit to live. I told you about a place that I live for about six months or eight months. And I was breaking my food every day with poison food. I would break my fast every day with poison food. Every day, every day, every day. And for every time they serve me food, God will always instruct me, say, bless the food and eat it. The new creation doesn't need to bless or God. God say bless food before you eat. Every day of my life, I have to bless the meal before I eat it. Say blesses. There was one day I was praying and then I was far drawn into the prayer. By the time I opened my eyes, I saw the person, the woman I was living with, I saw her stand, not in the dream, but physically, I saw her stand like this, looking at me. Ah! I said, ah! Kill us, Shelly. She said, what is me or what I'm doing? I said, I'm praying. She said, pray, I don't pray to you. I said, mom, God. I said, I'm praying, I'm praying. I lived there for a while. I need to tell you that. My survival there was by a strong hand. If I didn't pray at all, I prayed eight hours daily, four hours in the morning, four hours in the evening. I prayed more certain days. You know, I was teaching you yesterday, I said for Babylon, what you need is not long prayers. Huh. For Babylon. You, the problem between Babylon and Egypt is that Bab- Egypt looks stronger than Babylon is a lie. Babylon does not work with brute force. Egypt works with brute force. Guess what Babylon works with? Subtility. Babylon is so sub too that Egypt works with force. No, but, but Babylon is the one that it does not look strong, but it can cripple a man, destroy life of man in a twinkle. So for it to contain the one that comes with brute force, you need what you need what a strong hand, a strong hand. The end is that it wants to put you in captivity. It wants to lock you in chains. I will show you, not the end, that's not the end. The plan is to put you in captivity, but I will still show you the end. The end is still in verses, it's still in chapter 1. The plan is to put you in captivity, to make you go through toughness, hardness. If you want to survive the reign of Egypt, what you need is, you need to come with a stronger hand. A stronger hand. If by chance you get to a terrain and you perceive the presence of witchcraft, ah! It's time to increase your prayer, your prayer labors. Yeah. I've been to, I mean, I've been to places where I, I was going for, I was going for a function, a family function. And then, while I stayed in prayer, the Lord told me, said, it's a death trap. So I said, no problem. I told my mom, sit at home, don't come. Let me and my sister go. We went. So, but before we went, I, I prayed well. I made, I took time. I speak, spoke in tongues, 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 spoke in tongues. I can't remember the vision I saw before I went. But when we went, I made sure every no one touched my sister. Everybody that wanted to touch touched. You know, you know, you know my back. See, there's. 
There's this thing in your land. Come. How to bend like you want to greet me? Say, Carbo. So you have greeted, you have greeted me. I've taught you like this. To what end is your hand stained on my back? Mommy and call. Bawoni, share and run, JJ. Bawoko lehi mi ma. Muti key. Even when I stand straight, the hand will still be there. Ah, I know, I understand. You can sit, understand. So every time I will cry, I will put my back like it's touched. Before I went, I gathered my spirit, spoke in many tongues, spoke in many tongues, spoke in many tongues, spoke in many tongues. You have greeted you, you've, you've parted my back. Remove your hand, madam. They will keep the hand there. Everyone I greeted made sure the hand stayed. Everyone made sure the hand stayed. So I understood. By the time I was living there, I was I felt I felt a little weak in my body. A little weak. Ah. So I told myself, I said, they can try. They cannot win. They can only try. You, you. Because you you ca- you 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 carry your head and enter everywhere, empty of life, empty of power. You just enter everywhere. Go with the Lord, oh, what journey everywhere? Everybody is a good person, so long they can smile to you. Oh, see, I've studied this thing called witchcraft. Well, guess what? Witchcraft is not. Oh God! Ah, I know you believe if you do good to people, they won't do bad to you. It's a lie. It's not when witchcraft is in view. In my study of witchcraft, the fact that you are very good to a person makes you a reason why they should harm you. I've realized. That if, you are, if, you are very, if you are too good to a witch, you are, you are up for torture from them. You know what? Uh, they, they can sacrifice the person that is good, that is loving to them for rank. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't know witches. Somebody say, what am I teaching about which? Am I glorifying the devil? No, 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 no. I'm teaching you. If like, say, I'm, whether, I'm, whether I say I'm glorifying or not, in your life, some of you, yeah, there, are, there are tortures you are going through that is, that is a product of Egypt. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. You are bound. A stronger has held you down because of your, your ignorance. I am saying to you that some of us, you, you, you own is that every, you enter everywhere, eat everywhere, shake everybody, hug every, even you, you hug, you see hug mama, all those mama, all those. <laughs> you hug and say, mommy, you the bell, bro, kill one for my father. We are not saying you are not strong, brother. That's not what we are saying. We are saying that wisdom is profitable to direct. A time came in my life where God told me it's not every fight you must fight. Jesus himself had to escape from Israel at a certain time. It's not every fight you must fight. It's not every time you fight. Sometimes you escape. You buy my balogu moja mosaki in kusogu. Eh? Balogu moja mosaki in kusogu. Balogu moja mama osali loma kusogu. The English, the English, the English Bible goes this way. If that fights to, if the that fights are wrong, leaves to fight another day. That's the word. He that fights and run lives to fight another day. That no, the, the, the meaning of the Obama one is that no matter how much of a warrior you are, you must know when to leave the battle. Say a, a warrior that, don't, that doesn't know when to leave the battle will die in warfare. You must know that this battle now, I have to go back and go and, re, and, go and recoup again, regather myself. We can come back for warfare. It's not every time you say, I die, or God, you will die too. too. It's not mantra, you will die. It's not I die, or bro, you will drop dead. <laughs> for me to survive in that house that I live for each month, for me to survive. When I, when I first of all came, prayer was one of the hardest things for me. Guess what? I noticed that prayer was out at this time, so I began prayer before that time. Prayer was out in the midnight, so I would begin earlier before midnight. When things became, be, became tough, I added fasting. For I had to, I, by all means, I must survive. 
because it looks as if the house was consecrated to darkness you've been to places that looks as if it's consecrated to darkness or God. for you to conquer you must conquer by a strong hand you must come by a strong a stronger hand have you have you been to places and terrain when it looks as if there there's a canopy a canopy a tangible canopy of darkness then don't pack your bag and run eh? don't just pack and run except god say run how you win is you win with a stronger hand you have to be very good I've seen some people, I've seen people move in naivety and I ask myself, are you most, and somebody say, ah, no, I broke Baba Menu. Colleagues, 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 and to the say, you want my Baba. Say, I broke Baba Menu. I was sick, I'm already, Baba. Do you play the way I grew up? I grew up in, in a with bands of witches. You know, you, you the problem is your father's side. Some of you, the problem is your mother's side. Me, my problem is the both sides. To not make matters worse, father's side, mother's side, not join with compound people. Eh? Then I still have connection with such people. So uh, we are in, I'm, I was encompassed. Father's side was a problem, mother's side was a problem, church people was a problem. Where do you want to go exactly? The only battle was maybe maybe when we go to now when we now go to school maybe but everywhere we were, we were we were surrounded surrounded there are people that give us food that we dare not eat mama no only only neko fe ku iku to fe ku yen wa ku lowo mi my mommy will beat hey dai wo ko se le kere mo kuria abo there are people that give us clothes as they give as you break it to my mom just tight. Love is just be straight. So no more like it. I should pull you and find my so oh yeah, oh yeah, you don't run. Get off of my side. Church compound every oh. It was my mom that taught us that not everybody that is smiling to you loves you. Like every person that want to kill you, Kabi. She was one that thought she she got, she she, she still not let us because someone brought food to her house on salad day with smile. <laughs> Does not. <laughs> ah, you know it is a few people here that offer go go yo. Mama be local consumption, but Mama for the Mama for you just go go yo. You is a few me here me. Ah, Mama to what is she bed in school? My dear biscuit here oh, muale. <laughs> ah, you, 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 you. Then, then I used to believe that children that they did better in school and they share biscuits and you if you eat it, I believe that time that you don't have home dream. I'm serious. Because it was part of our training that anything they share, you wrap it in your bag and bring it home. So anytime we bring it home, my mom will carry like this. Elijah. Mm. <laughs> ah, I wish she see she. I, I will tell her to find this video and watch it. See that? Imagine. In, in, in this one, you need eye discernment to survive. This place I said I lived. Eh? For eight months that I was eating food that was poisoned. And the, the, the fact is that the keyboard is loud. It's loud. I'm not closing now. The fact is that you will think you, you should ask me to what end was the poisoning? It was spiritual poisoning. It was to kill my spiritual life. If they can kill my spiritual life, they can get me now. First of all, they didn't they didn't serve me anything to want to the atmosphere itself was just was just counterintuitive to spirit life. Was counterintuitive to spirit life. Every time I wanted to engage spiritual things, I struggle. If I want to pray, I struggle. Ah! If I want to hear a message, I fall asleep. Pray, struggle, message, fall asleep. Everything was ah. 
to study the Bible, it looked as if the heaven was shut over me. I could not understand. So I started praying. I tried my best to pray long. When I said it wasn't working, I added fasting. So when I saw that I added fasting, and I started serving me poison food in the evening time I'm broken. It is to kill the spirit life so that if they can kill the spirit life, they can catch me. I lived there for about eight months, but I survived it. I survived it by high intensity and high discernment. There are times when they bring food actually, there are times when God says, Today, don't eat this one, buy your food. Before he will say, Bless it, this one, I say, Don't eat this one. And guess what? For every day I do not eat the food, they tell me I do not eat the food. I say, Moja, I say, Hey! Oh, Jay. Ah, ah. I say, Bow, let's say more. For every day, for every day, for every day. If I did that, I don't eat. They say, uh, say uh, 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 she will come confront us. Like, oh, Jay, from my boyfriend, I know, Jay. I say, ah, no, 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 Back power for me. Me more. Hey. Uncle Monsika me bereu se light ababa. See. So for every time God say don't eat. To my go spell oje mo oje. E be o pa mi. I would rather go out and say I want to go and watch match and find somewhere to eat. I found a I found a woman that used to make spark the way I would like it. So I say every time God say don't eat. I say okay. Let's go and buy spark. That was how I survived. In case you've been to terrains where you, you can't advance with life, the way to survive is you 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 go you to go harder. Like they say, when the when the going becomes tough, eh? You do what you get tough. And when the tough, I mean, all those things, I don't know. And like you shall understand. <laughs> When the going becomes tough, the tough gets tougher. I mean, you start get tough if the, if you become hard, you go hard too. That's the idea. That's the wisdom behind it. There's a spirit civilization called Egypt. What Egypt wants to make you is a slave. At least Babylon wants to use you with your gifts. Egypt wants to destroy you. Egypt wants to keep you in bondage, in chains. Egypt wants to put you through suffering and rigor. Let me, let me, let, let's read continue. Let's continue. Verses 14. And they made their lives bitter. Hard. With, and they made their life bitter with, verses 14. And they made their life hard. And they made their life bitter, I mean, with hard bondage in mortar and brick in all manner of service in the field. And their service were wherein they made them serve was with rigor. The word rigor was is asness. Asness. Suffering. It makes suddenly everything becomes tough. To advance is tough. To progress is tough. To come into the next phase is tough. Ah, that's Egypt. Egypt is at work. Don't sit back and say what will be with me. It will never be. Because Egypt is the one at work. You come with a strong hand. A strong hand. At times, what will be with we, Kesera will never Sera. What we what will be will be by strong hand. No case. No, 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 no. Let's continue. And the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of one was Sif, Sifra, the name of the other Pua. He said. When you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew woman, see them upon the stool, and if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. Eh? If it be your daughter, you shall save. You, she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not as the king commandment commanded, but saved the men to them alive. And the king called for the midwife and said unto them, Why have you done these things? And have saved the men, children alive. And the midwife said unto Pharaoh, Because the children, because the children, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and delivered ere the midwife come into them. Therefore God dealeth with the midwife. 
let's go to verse 22 and pharaoh touched all his people saying every son that is born he shall cast into the river and every daughter shall live i'm telling you see, it begins with what on the, the end is death the bible said the devil comes to steal to kill and to destroy now that's that's a symptom of egypt destruction bondage chain destruction bondage chain babylon works with subtlety egypt works with hardness struggle Mani he manipulates a man and keeps a man bound manipulates a man and keeps a man in chain keeps a man perpetually locked when god want when god was sending moses to them one of the things god told moses was that pharaoh will not allow them go because that's how it is pharaoh will never allow them go but by a strong hand that's exodus chapter 3 to, to, to show you that to show you that this thing is, 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 is witchcraft how can a person be in bondage at, and at no time have script, the scripture record that Israel attempted an escape it is witchcraft they are held bound by something beyond the natural the Bible never told us that at any time did Egypt attempt an escape do you know they had a, they had a place where they stay called Goshen? They were not locked. See, they were not chained though. They had houses to themselves. Eh? They were just servants of the field. They were made to serve. But at no time did Egypt attempt. They were they, they were Bible never told us there was there were walls binding them from escaping. To make matters more worse, even when God sent Moses to them and Moses delivered them when they were in the wilderness, the Bible told us they still crave to go back to their captivity. They crave to go back to their captors. When Egypt is in, is, is in view, it, it, sometimes a man, a man will not think well. When you see people begin to make decisions that leads them to captivity, is Egypt. Is Egypt. Is Egypt. Time is gone. We might pray now. Have you seen symptoms in your life pointing towards the fact that Egypt is the one working? This civilization that sits over you, does it, does it signify somehow that Egypt is at work? Are there symptoms showing that you are under bound whatsoever? That you are manipulated by some kind of spirit somehow? That chains are binding you? For every time everybody gets easy, it gets it easy when it comes to your turn, it's hardness. When it comes to your turn, things look unbearable, even in the matters of destiny. Are you in a place where to advance spirit life is a struggle? Is Egypt, is Egypt. Egypt is the one in contention. Egypt is the one at war. Egypt is the one in view. How do you pray from Egypt? Let's go to Exodus chapter 3. Mamo si kabata. Beremo sile rofadela bukailias. Erene kuva saka. I think verses 19, if I'm correct. Verses 19. Exodus 3. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he shall let you go. That means for you to escape from the bound of Egypt, for you to escape from the chains of Egypt, you must come by a mighty hand. You must come by a stronger hand. You must come by something beyond the natural. Something more than the one with which you've approached Egypt. Something more than the one with which you've engaged Egypt. For you to disengage witchcraft. For you to disengage the bounds and the chains of darkness. You must approach by a stronger hand. Today we want to disengage the devil in our life, destiny and ministry and call. And every, every facet, every aspect of our life. Today is that day when we want to disengage Egypt. We want to say, I break from the bounds of Egypt. I break from the harshness, from the struggle, from the yoke of the enemy. I come by the road of the higher priesthood. And I make warfare. I break, I break, I break, I break. Today is that day. Falama sile kolamama. 
Salamo le bobe le bege de bambaba. Se le ura basa bere moko li mai monova. Ese mumbe le le bambamba yo. Le vieux 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 wata ailo vele bawo. Amile ilo ko ula ilo fafa yuda la mama mama. Sabele 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 wata ila ilo ole. Ole mai lo ko so ila ilo bere la ila baba. Veni de de veni vele munda ayelele 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 ole ili amele koko koko. Conco, conco, yo le hablo, se ila ilo. Andi mi 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 mi, kailo kailo le. Aromi fele, aromu fari mansele babo. Ay di mami, ay di mami onde ila ye. Abele mami, abele mami, abele ula mi ola dota. Yo mi adi le, yo mi ada le, ada bwa kala. Amwe, 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 chombe, chombe, chombe. Chombe, li a tolo luna ite, li a fa 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 kwenye tu. Sika bo, abe, 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 abe. Papura, skete berete u, ita palata patai, sambrete, sembreta lisa prakata, au talata matabi, kapata ila, kapata kata bakati, lata brata merete mina, brata kapapa talita, papura taka belete meta, ipa ka. Abambasi, abapata mina kapu, abapa lita abapote na pukale. Come 
The spirit life is a struggle. Know that the ruling spirit there is Egypt. Bound, 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 chains, hardship. The end is that he wants to kill the man child. He does not want the man child to survive and work strong and glory over him. He knows if he permits spirit life, a time will come that his reign and rule will be subdued. He knows, he knows. You study a situation and you find out that it looks as if there's a moon coming, it looks as if there's a struggle, there's a barrier. Don't, I don't approach with the same pattern which used to, to, used to approach. This time, I approach with a stronger hand. Egypt will never let go except to come with a higher priesthood, a stronger rod of authority. Egypt is very stubborn. You can do with Egypt today, and it looks as if Israel lets you go. Suddenly, the moment you leave, Egypt gathers his forces again and he comes warring at you at the Red Sea. You, you have to keep disengaging, keep disengaging. Because you broke it today, does not mean it will not, it will not close tomorrow. You wake up again, the moment you perceive it, say, Patena Ufati, Yeka Ata, Ka 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 Duai, Ifanama Masika Bobo, Isila Yakro Poposki, Arava Pazazai. Stronger, a stronger force, a more rugged 
him Babylon. Today is Egypt. Tomorrow we might go back to Babylon. Oh, we might enter Sodom tomorrow. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. Kai. This matter, the burden is as I don't feel like this one. Today, the burden is in my heart. I feel like pressing more in prayer. God, help us. Talk. But we've got to close. As they approaches. Camp meeting for the month, for the first camp meeting for the year. I mean. Is it next week? End next weekend, next week, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, many persons are not aware which run begins 4 p.m. on Friday, camp opens by 12 p.m. on Friday, meeting begins 4 p.m. on Friday, runs. Yes, on Friday after the meeting in the evening, there's a vigil in the night. Saturday morning also, Saturday evening, Saturday night into Sunday there's a vigil. Sunday morning, everybody go to their church. That's how it is. Have you attended camp before? Ah, it's a lie. What? So it's it's a, it's a massive one. Everybody coming from different states. What coming from different states? Let's all begin to prepare ourselves. It's not so much of a teaching meeting. It's one that today, this evening, as I was meditating, all I had in my spirit was glory days. Aye. Anything can happen. You know, they said this is football. Anything is possible. This one is this is glory days. Anything can happen. Anything, 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 anything. anything. I'm not one of those people that teach all this glory them experience. We don't teach it. But if it happens, it happens. And I mean anything can happen. When, when, when we give that means when we raise chance and we go high, we chant. Suddenly anything can happen. Someone that no have womb can receive womb. I mean anything can happen. Archbishop Benson has said he believes there's a spare part of human body in heaven. That if, if they say you, they, one kidney has poor, he believes they can change the kidney from heaven. That if God created men, God should have spare parts. The same way, mechanical generator has spare parts. The, the same way, Ben's motor has spare parts. Say the creator of everything used to have spare parts. Say God should have spare parts. 
guess what people that don't have womb? One kidney have spoil. One liver have. Bring them. It's a, it's a glory meeting. It's not talk. No. If I thought we talk, it's to charge your spirit so that we can climb the ladders. So that like, so like, like, like Jacob. We can say the Lord was here. Not that we didn't know. We know and we engaged him. Like Jacob would say, this is Bethel. We unlocked unlock several spirit cities that day. We unlocked Bethel. We unlock, if, if God permit, we unlock Rama. We have prophecies. We happen on their court. Moon for telling. Honey, cool for a lie. Look at us. Ah, mama, mama, ma, Caris. Caris, Cabrin, Timorosis. I've begun my preparations already. I'm, I'm, I began praying and asking God for energy and grace. So everybody should prepare. Prepare to receive also. You must have seen the flyers. You know the location. You know the venue. It's a lot. I was doing the complete calculation of the budget for the meeting today. It was ranging into 3.5 million. So, God help us in Jesus' name. 3.5 million is the total budget. If God is leading you to give, give in ordinance of thousands, you can, you can give million, we receive millions too. It's not a cost. In ordinance of thousands, in any, in any measure, if God is, if God is leading you, please. We don't extort money from persons. That's why we don't take offerings. If God is leading you, give to us the meeting. Feeding is free, accommodation is free, and to a large extent, transportation is free for some persons also. Somebody asked me, somebody said, ah, ah. You say you need 3.5 million. I say, Yes. We well, are doing free feeding account. I say, Yes. He said, Why? He said, Cause I'm a boy. I said, No, no. You don't, tell, you, you don't just wake up and tell me what to do. When he called me, what, that's what he called me to do. When he called me, he gave me the model of ministry. I said, every time you do camp meetings, make sure you feed persons and you give them free accommodation. That's the, it, you don't wake up in 2024, 2024, and say, hey, young man. Listen, not everybody's a young man. Don't call every man young man. Some people are ancient. They are just black hair. They are just dark hair in natural. In the spirit, they are like alien. You don't wake up and tell me what to do. I'm, I, I, did, I didn't just start because I'm, I'm wise. I, I'm, I didn't grow smart and I got all these things together. I heard him and I started running. I heard him and I ran with his instructions. So if God is leading you to give, give. God bless us all and keep us all in Jesus' name. For that is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Shalom.